I'm Heather. I'm Nate. And, and this, this is Lacey. Lacey. <laughs> We're, We're going, going to Long, Long Beach, Beach, California. California. <laughs> Things are about to get fun and crazy all at the same time. Yeah, this trip definitely had its ups and downs. And while Nate was unloading the luggage at the hotel, Lacey and I walked out to enjoy the view and we saw a proposal. Gotta be honest, I was a little jealous I missed it. Oh, and the violinist was so good. She gave me her Instagram info. Yay, congratulations to this happy couple that just got engaged in the most beautiful spot. And there's lots of boats and jet skis on this trip. I wonder how many Finn can count. When he'll get them. We'll have to check out the rest of the hotel later. We promised Lacey a trip to Rosie's Dog Beach. We made a whole video on that. Watch it next. And they had a boardwalk, so then we threw on our rollerblades and went rollerblading there. And you'll be surprised to find out there's a video on that one, too. And on our way home, we stopped at Shoreline Village. Yep, we made that video, too. You've got to check it out. On the way back to the hotel, we admired the Long Beach art. Is that a giant penny? That is one big thought. Oh yeah, and they have a great pedestrian bridge. It's shaped like a roller coaster. I wish it still was a roller coaster. As soon as we got back to the hotel, we were reminded the party never stops here. We were trying to figure out what kind of party this was. At first, we thought it was a bachelor party, but then as we looked closer, we saw the entire wedding party was there. And I thought our wedding was a party. And as they drove away, we decided to start exploring the hotel some more. But wait, the party came back. I couldn't help but dance with them. We figured out this was the beginning of a wedding, and I think all weddings should begin like this. It was so fun. Yeah, can you imagine watching our parents dance like this? Okay, enough spying on the stranger's wedding. Let's finish exploring. And while we were out exploring the hotel, we saw him setting up for this 80s party, and we didn't know it at the time, but this was gonna be our entertainment all night long. But before it got started, we got to kick back and watch the water. Oh, and these guys were having their one year anniversary and her sister has a business that set this whole thing up in front of this beautiful setting for her. Love was in the air and definitely had me feel romantic. And since the Queen Mary was so close, we decided to walk on over. And on our way, Lacey met some friends. There was a beautiful park that we walked through on the way to Queen Mary. And Lacey met this adorable puppy. And you know you're getting close to the Queen Mary when the sidewalk leading up to it has dolphins and starfish. So there had been a concert at the Queen Mary the night before and there were still barricades in the parking lot. And we thought they were vehicle barricades from the concert. And as a pedestrian, you could walk right through the barricades. So that's what we did, right past a couple of security guards. They didn't seem to care. I wasn't trying to go to the concert that was already over. I just wanted a few pictures. And as we stood there, we filmed for about five minutes right in front of a security guard that didn't even notice us. And then I just waved at the security guard, which got her attention, and that freaked her out. We weren't supposed to be there. She yelled at us and chased us out of there. All the while behind us, screaming on her radio at the other security guards who apparently had let us escape by. I tried to explain we were leaving and I didn't know we weren't supposed to be there, but she wasn't having any of it. So that made the afternoon exciting. I don't get chased by security guards very often. Breaking the law, breaking the law. And as if to calm us down, this rainbow appeared. Back at the hotel, we were admiring the views when these guys walked by. They were definitely rocking us back to the good old days. They were headed to that 80s party we saw them setting up for earlier. No, Lacey, you can't go to the 80s party. I wanna go explore that pedestrian bridge they've got going over to the other side. I don't know, it looks like a pretty big bridge. Wow, these are some incredible views. Wow, our hotel's lighting up. I think the party's getting started down there. 
We better get back or we're going to miss all of our favorite songs. No, you don't know they're playing all our favorite songs yet. It's an 80s party. I know they're playing our favorite songs. Oh, you're right. We're so old. Night was falling and everything was starting to light up. Once we were back at the hotel, we started to hear all our favorite 80s songs that we hadn't heard in years. And we had to dance the night away. Oh, no, no one wants to see that. As much fun as we were having rocking out to the 80s party, the lights on the other side were calling and I wanted to go exploring. So we headed over to the other side to see all those city lights. Maybe next time you should try that. Don't let me eat too much before I get on that thing. It was a pretty cool little area. It was really lit up at night. Why do I laugh and think of Adam Sandler every time I see one of these? It does seem like he mentions it in every movie. That's the roller coaster pedestrian bridge all lit up next to the Ferris wheel, which had quite a light show, and I had some fun with it in Fast Forward. Lacey did some dancing of her own down at the pier. I told you I was having fun with it. She couldn't keep up with this dog's moves. Oh yeah, the lighthouse had some changing colors that I had some fun with too. We got spun around, so we had to check out the map. And the aquarium was all lit up. All these kids riding around on their scooters making me want to go rollerblade. I know you want a snack, Lacey, but that place is closed. We got to get back to the hotel anyway. On our way back to the other side, at this park, this was a group of friends. It looks like they had just went out and bought a cheap TV to watch the game in the park. Such a good idea. And back at our hotel, the 80s music was still blaring and we're still dancing. But it looks like so much fun out there, so let's try and dance on rollerblades. That was the first stupid idea. And the second stupid idea was to rollerblade in front of the hotel with broken concrete. Ouch. Yeah, that hurt just a bit. Luckily, Lacey and I were both fine. She went and got me Band-Aids. But to be honest, it was just a scrape and it wasn't really gonna stop me. So let's go find some smooth concrete. We were extra careful, so this blade went much smoother. For us, we watched a guy fall in front of us and we had to call the paramedics. It was a little scary. After going through all that, we decided to call it a night and head back to the hotel. Pulling back into our hotel, we were reminded the 80s party was still going on. Oh no, we're still dancing? Haven't we had enough accidents tonight? I think we'll be okay as long as we're not on wheels. You're right, we took off the rollerblades and things got much safer. We watched the lights and listened to the 80s music that was blaring through the hotel. And we danced until my Band-Aid fell off. Thanks, Thanks for, for going, going to Long Beach, Beach with us. us.